Is it? It's so good. It's so tasty. You could have a few of these, and yeah, while well, you'd be like, this guy right here. Or you could be like, Troy on the dance floor at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> This is another episode of the Beer Program, and I'm your host, Adam. Well, you know me from many personalities, yeah. the Brew Head, the Brew First, and well, that Jeff guy, and well, I'm always drinking. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about that right. You see that? Yeah, you see here. Lake Effect, the IPA from Great Lake Brewery down in Ethico, Toronto. Hometown of Brock Boy, you may know. Anyway, so this is one of the uh, 1010, it's a fantastic IPA from this guy, and uh, well it's a really dirty uh, IPA, that's for sure, it's, uh, as you probably can tell from the open that I did. But anyway, that was done into it, that was done into it, yeah let's get into it. So IPA, this is 7%, this is about 80 IPU. And it's now available in the Ultra Bureau all across the beautiful Ontario. And... Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna say, but... I can tell you right now that I had this a few years ago when it was chilling in the bottle, actually. In the bottle! Yeah! It came in a bottle! Holy shit! Yeah, look at this! Look at that beautiful thing! I'm gonna burn up an amp too! Look at how beautiful that is! Oh. But anyway, like I said, this is one of the most juicy IPAs that I have, and it's available at the LWO. This is also one of the that you must drink it fresh. This is a must. You, you gotta drink IPA fresh as possible. It's like, is that this? You gotta drink it right away. Pretty much. You know. The other thing I say is that this guy right here, this is uh, Ronan. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Troy, eh? Looks like Troy at 5 a.m. on the jumper. Hmm. Anyway, that was an entry. As you can tell, that it has a big, look at that big fucking head. And a very juicy, it looks like going to do. It's very hazy, unfiltered, and it's got a lot of carbonation going on here. Holy moly. It has a big head. And it's still going. Please to be head. That's what she said. Wait, what? Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna really rent it. Oh, I use juicy. I use cursy. I use a lot of. Oh wow. Well, that we get into. I don't know how I'm gonna do there, but fuck it. Now that is juicy. What I could say is that it's almost like a big mango bomb. Juicy, mango, turkey, big pine background. Holy moly, this is really juicy. Like, I mean, it's really refreshing and whatnot. And the head is still there, actually. Look at that. Holy. Mm. By the Anyway, so back to the beer. Um, I have to say that if you might have to pick an IPA from the LTBO that is juicy, fresh, and get hell of a directive, it's right there in front of me. It's right there. You gotta get him. Seriously. Get them for the Super Bowl. For crying out loud, it could be great. And at that point, for them, you can't even really taste it. It's so good. It's so dangerous. You could have a few of these, and yeah, while well, you'd be like this guy right here, or you could be like Troy on the dance floor at 5 a.m. in the morning, just dumbing around. And but um, anyway, uh, this is a really good beer, and I highly recommend this to anybody who wants to try the IPA. Um, they do see, turkey, uh, it's just so good, you know. I'm gonna give that one a 4 out of 5, like, 
They're pretty good. I mean, it's more than four, I think. I think it's four and a half. Four and a half out of five. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. But, so this is it for the beer program. It's the first IPA. Four and a half out of five. So, cheers.